Good morning. Good morning. No more mice, eh? No mice dare come into this basement while Queen Penny is on patrol, eh? On this morning's menu, Penny, you are getting purple. Chicken and lobster? Spoiled kitty. And on your menu this morning, you've got, oh, just chicken. <laughs> no lobster for you. I would hazard a guess that you don't give a tiny rat's ass. Hmm, what today? Peach. Yum. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and it is garbage day. From just living sticks and bricks for the last little while and mostly cleaning stuff out of Lucky, we got a few bags. And here in BC, you can only go to the dump two days out of the week in a very specific time. So that's gonna be our first stop today. Our second stop is going to be uh, the laundromat in the town of Nacusp so I can wash this blanket. I know what you're thinking. Didn't you just take a, a gray blanket to the dry cleaners in Calgary? When you wouldn't be wrong, yes. Yes, I did, however. <laughs> totally forgot to get that blanket the last time I was in Calgary, so I'll have to put that on the docket. I'm headed back to Calgary tomorrow. But this is a different blanket. This is the one that uh, has been on the bed where I've been sleeping downstairs. Although the first time I went back to Calgary, Penny, showed me how she felt about it and onto this blanket. So it is far too large to go into my parents' washing machine and dryer. So we will hit the laundromat. I need to do some grocery shopping anyway, because when I come back, I will have a certain pirate princess with me. <sighs> and because of that, I need to have more appropriate food on hand. I've been living off of yogurt and smoothies and berries and eggs, or boiled ones, <sighs> since, I've, since I've been here. Saying this out loud makes me realize I now left the list that I wrote inside the house. <clears throat> Got it, okay. <sighs> Obviously, I need to have a little bit more stock on hand so I can prep some meals for her and I. I'll have her for... How many days is she out here? One, two, three, four, five. Five days. Five dinners, anyway. Uh, one of those, of course, I'm sure will be over at my brother and sister-in-law's house or vice versa them here. Either way, I gotta have to have food on hand. So we're going grocery shopping. And the cusp has a little bit of a bigger grocery store than New Denver. What else am I missing? Thinking out loud. So that is that plan, and then we need to get the Irish Pirate Queen ready for this van lifer to slumber in when we're in Calgary. She's just a little schmutzy. You fire up your Irish Pirate Queen, and then you put on your glasses so you can, you know, see where you're going, and it, the lenses are all schmutzy. Good thing my Dixon has a nice little built-in microfiber towel to rub off my lenses. Man, I love it when my shirts have built-in rub-off materials. Everybody just calm down. And no, I'm not sponsored by Dixon.
nice foggy morning up at the dump. To glory. It's about a uh, about a half an hour drive up the highway to the cusp. Going to be a nice foggy drive today. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I don't know how much, if at all, or if any, I will get to on Lucky today. Um, simply because I've got to focus on this, getting Grace ready for myself, getting the house ready for my little girl. Not that that should take too long. I've been on top of things fairly well although certain areas of the house definitely looks like lucky threw up over them sorry mom it'll be fine before you get home but also all of that that i was doing yesterday with building that box and getting the electrical in there uh my back is not happy with me i took a couple extra tylenol today we should be okay but i, I, I was definitely feeling it so pacing myself probably a good idea all right let's try to not die in this twisty windy mountain road in the fog Nobody died. Well, I can't say nobody, but nobody in this Jeep did. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's unfortunate. I mean, yeah, I wanted to come to the grocery store anyway because it's a little larger and has a bigger selection of stuff. But New Denver used to have a laundromat back in the day. It was right on Main Street. Oh, my God, I had mail I needed to mail, and I forgot it as well. I'm going to have to go into New Denver later. Want to get gas because I don't like filling up here, backtracking and driving back through the cusp in the morning. And two, there's a post office in New Denver and I've got a, I've got a couple Patreon supporters that order stickers and I haven't put them in the mail yet. My apologies, you two. Hopefully I remember it now that I've said it and put it out into the atmosphere. Hang on, put a pin in that, holy dense fog. Ooh. It's so spooky and cool looking. It's funny, when I, when I see stuff like this, I wanna film it all the time, but it also is like, well, it, it, ends up getting a little bit repetitive. I mean, maybe not, because it doesn't get repetitive for me experiencing it in real time. It just looks so cool. This is actually also a really nice drive down this hill in view of the entire town, which we will not be able to see because of said fog. Yeah, back in the day, New Denver had a laundromat right on Main Street there, and this gone the way of the dodo. Yeah, I've been gone for a few years now. Very annoying, but what are you gonna do? It is what it is. And I'm okay taking a little bit of a relaxing drive and just changing my days up a little bit. Don't want it to all be about to van build every single day. So we'll go to the laundromat first and we'll get the blanket washing and then we will Wait till it's drying. Ugh, now wishing I brought my switch with me. <laughs> I did not. And once it's drying, we'll rip over to the grocery store to sort of maximize our time as efficiently as possible. There's some machines available. I see at least two spinning. Grace's audio off feature just kicked in. Doesn't matter. I'm turning you off anyway, darling. It's actually kind of funny. The last time I was here was back in chapter two, and I was washing the same damn blanket because it's just so large. Do you think I can remember how much it costs? No. Nope. Oh boy, I also forgot I'm in BC. There's only two washing machines and the large one, which is the one I will need, $10 to do a wash. I need my soap. Come with me. 
But I mean, how much would this cost me if I took it to a dry cleaner? A heck of a lot more than that, so I guess I shouldn't complain too much. Oh. But yeah, this place uh, is in need of a reno. It's missing some machines here, I would say. Get in there, you. I'm still using these True Earth laundry strips. I found them as I was cleaning out Lucky. <laughs> we'll also be throwing in a fabric stuff here, one. $10. Penny doesn't get to go on this blanket anymore. <laughs> it's the new rules. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, that's pink. Push. It just says push. 23 minutes on the clock. Let's do it. Nice thing is, since I don't care about the blanket shrinking, we can just find the hottest temperature on the dryer and hopefully not have to dawdle around too much. Well, I don't have my switch for distraction. I guess I can just enjoy the beauty of the place where I am. I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but I'm inclined to think that uh, this might not work very well. Also, yuck. We'll just shake the mats out. It'll, it'll be fine. All right, just put the uh, blanket in the dryer. Threw in enough loonies for about half an hour. There's actually a local that was doing her laundry as well, and she was very kind. She gave me a heads up. She said, don't, don't do it on high. It will melt things. Medium is high. And that's all you need, so. Thank you again. Doubt she's watching, but good heads up. So, got half an hour on the clock. Now let's get to the grocery store and get some provisions with our shopping list. really cool at the end of the street there the clouds in the background they're just covering the mountain you can see it kind of peeking through between the clouds that looks really sweet what are you doing in your Ford Transit with a big number one container on the rear hmm. hey there's a number six what the heck CMH well can't park on the street very busy today gonna have to go straight across and park Right here. Very nice. No overnight parking. No RV parking. One hour only. How hospitable. All right. Well, let's see how this compares to the grocery shopping my little brother did in Nelson at the... Uh, healthier food store. God, that was expensive. Yowza. Well, I came in under what my brother spent in Nelson, but I don't know who ended up with more food. But I can tell you who ended up with more quality food. We will go over all of this when we get back to the house, because some people might be interested. Yikes. And before we take off, I'm actually going to leave one of these delectable prisoners from their plastic encampment. I find it helps if you rub the apple on your boob. Delicious. Okay. Carwo. <laughs> Don't talk with your mouth full, Matthew. <coughs> apple skin. Right in the back there. 
Okay, I got about eight minutes left on the dryer timer. So I think I'll just go back and wait for that to be done. And there's one more stop I wanna make before we leave. Um, Penny needs some more wood pellets. Now, I, I've been telling myself, oh, I'll just give myself a reminder and I'll pick it up when I'm in Calgary. And I keep forgetting to do it. And while it will be far less expensive to do that in Calgary, with this very quick turnaround trip that I'm going to have, well, one less thing to worry about, the better. <sighs> and there's the Nacusp post office that I would have gone into had I remembered the mail I had to send off. All right, let's see if that was enough time. The vent sheets look like they did a good job. They're fricasseed. Oh, yeah. Well, she good to go. Now, ball it up like a man. Throw it back in the Jeep. Ah. There we go. Perfect. Wood pellets for Penny. And bonus points, if you know, the last time I was parked here with Lucky, back in chapter one, what did I find on the roof of my van? Yikes. Ah, uh, well, best of intentions. The only one that they had that looked like it might remotely work uh, was $23 for a bag. They're like eight bucks at Canadian Tire in Calgary. Plus, I was, I mean, it doesn't matter if she needed them that bad, I would have just got it, but uh, these ones were mesquite flavored for a, for a wood smoker. I don't know. I'm not a scientist when it comes to wood pellets and cat shit, but I can't imagine she'd probably take very well to her dookie smelling like mesquite. And I'm not so sure I would be wanting to associate those two things either. But I was able to pick up another thing of washer fluid, so wasn't a total loss. And let's get back to the house and go over those groceries and rip into New Denver. Is anybody in New Denver that would have wood pellets? Hey, maybe Silverton Hardware Supply Building Supply Place, but uh, no, I'll put it on the docket and try to remind. Hey, maybe I can just text somebody to, to remind me. That's probably a good idea. All right, we out of here. Hi, Mountaintop Coffee. Bye, Mountaintop Coffee. <sighs> All right. Let's see what we got here. So I got the grand total right here. We'll save that for a hot minute. First, I get this out of the way. I got myself some Tostitos. This is for me for tonight for a snack. It doesn't really count, but part of the bill. We'll put that up there. Now, for the rest of the week, it's no surprise. I'm on a little bit of an egg kick. So two cartons of eggs, Western family eggs. Local, blah, 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 blah. Most of those will be hard boiled and consumed by moi, but some for breakfast as well. And of course, with said breakfast, then you must have ooh, some sausages. I meant to do that. Of course, milk, because we are fans of cereal. She's, it's always nice to have a, a tasty treat every once in a while. And well, she'll probably eat half a bowl over the course of five days. I'm sure I will find time to consume the rest myself. We've also got a couple of things of pasta here. I picked up some rotini and some spaghetti. What else? Oh yes, one of spaghetti. Some sauce go along with that. Some furrows and meatballs. I have to do this fast because you need to get back in the freezer before they thaw. I got a thing of feta cheese. That's super, super, super affordable. Ugh. Little thing of sour cream because of course on one of those evenings there will be, boom, a taco night. French, English, whatever. And of course for that then, we got some brown biff. Put that over here. We got faux cheese. It's not actually like fake cheese, but it's, everybody's got an opinion cheese. I also got, of course, my bag of apples. Minus one that is now in my belly. Don't bang the glasses around and maybe put them in the pocket of the Dixon. These shirts are just so multifunction. <clears throat> okay, sack. Other green things, avocados by any other name. Thank you, Mexico. A head of broccoli. Woo! A brick of cream cheese. That goes with the feta and the rotini, as does this extra large pint. Is that what they said a thing? It's 450 grams of grape tomatoes. Place that very 
gently on the taco kit. We've also got the berries coming out of our ears. We got a little mini thing of blackberries as well as a big thing of strawberries. Those are clearly normal. And last but not least, oh, a Caesar salad kit. I also need bread, but I ran out of room in my bag and I'd rather have bakery bread. So hopefully, put it in the back of my mind, I remember to go to Cobb's Bread which is right beside Newton's Fine Dry Cleaning back in Calgary. Anyways, that's a future Matthew problem. All this clocked in at the low, low price of $140.36. I don't know how people live out here. Now, granted, it wouldn't have been that much cheaper, I don't think, in Calgary. How much was the tax? What do we got? What do we got tax here? Where the tax at? Shouldn't be tax. It's groceries, right? Is that how it works? We're still allowed to get groceries without tax? I think so. It also would have been a little bit more expensive had it not been $15 more expensive had I not used my little brother's card. Thanks, buddy. There you go. That should keep us alive for at least five days if I really stretched it. Probably a little longer. I don't know, man. I guess they just uh, pay people in BC more to keep up with the uh, higher price of everything. All right. Time to get stuff put away. All right. That does it for the refrigerated stuff. Everything else is going to find a home in the cupboards and on the counters. And yes, my parents do have plenty of food here that I could be helping myself to, but... One, I don't want to eat them out of house and home while they're gone and have them come home to an empty house. Although that being said, I was and am a very picky eater. So it's not like I ever used to do that before. And two, I wanted to see what it would cost. It was sort of a science experiment. Well, we did that, didn't we? Also, I now have to get this space clean and ready for my little girl because she likes to do her arts and crafts right here on the island. ready to see how well she will house me tomorrow night. Uh, some stuff here. Don't need that. We don't need this. Let's just put these on Lucky's hood for now. Thank you, darling. Little wood knobs. Probably not going to need those. These were left over from the, the cuts I got at Silverton yesterday. Window covers. Don't need a stool. Uh, I'm gonna say probably won't need these, but we're gonna keep them anyway. But for now, again, Lucky's hood. Ah, yes. <laughs> these are still in here. My lap sealants. The other two to make the total of three. One of these days I'll get to that fan. It's funny to think about this whole like redesign with Lucky started with me just wanting to recock that fan. And now we're rebuilding her from the ground up. Vitamin. I think I'll have a driver's seat for now. Yo. Suction cups for these blockers. This is the windshield and the rear window blocker. Let's tuck those away. Remove the plethora of Dixon jackets. All right, let's uh, let's shake this mat out to begin with. Oh, we got a little hatchet in here. Bad, bad boy up there, stay. Got our WeatherTech mat <laughs> cleared out. Yeah, it's out. I may as well give it a little bit of a vacuum. My little dust buster shouldn't be far. See how hard this is to do. That's one, this two. There we go. All right, so I still got a little bit of room to move my seat back, which is good. And for those that might be wondering where the car seat is, my cousin drove Brooklyn back to her mother's the last time uh, I had her. So she got the car seat. We will have to procure that from her once we get back to Calgary. 
That's a hell of an incline for my head, although pillows up here might not be the worst. I can actually slide the seats back a bit so that the pillows don't fall down. But first, let's we'll vacuum that schmutz up and let's get that air mattress in here and see how it looks and how it feels. Okay, before I deploy this mattress, I sure hope it's durable enough on the bottom. There's nothing like this in the bed of a Tacoma, obviously. But these joints on the uh, seats, I mean, obviously, I'm just worried about puncture. I could put a blanket down, obviously, and maybe I'll do that in actual practice, but it's a little annoying to have to carry a ground blanket with you. But who knows? Maybe the mattress is tough enough. Ooh, let's see, shall we? And away we go. Hey. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's going to be... Oh, it's tight when it's in there. Obviously, the tailgate can close no problem. I would also, of course, advise closing the window unless you want one hell of a draft. I don't necessarily want to get on it. Well, I guess I could hang my feet off. Hang on. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's see how we end up popping it. Ooh. I mean, it'll make for a... <laughs> hang on. It's gonna be, it's gonna be all sorts of cozy, that's for sure. And, well, you know what? I can, I never sleep straight like a board, so... Yeah. Nice. I'm not too concerned about the underside either, but I might still put something in the way for those joints on the seat. Now the question is, do I just leave it like this? How do I have to travel tomorrow? I'm not getting Brooklyn till the next morning. Car seat could ride up there. I'm gonna have a backpack. This is gonna have to be very minimalistic packing for travel. It's gonna be a hell of a night in the Walmart parking lot in the back of Grace like this. Ah, all right, well, I'm gonna pack her down um, and just travel in normal configuration mode tomorrow. And then we'll get this all set up. I got ideas about how I could do that to be a little bit stealthier. Not that I'm ever worried about being stealthy. Not what the way the world is these days and how many people are living out of their vehicles. But this is one reason I really like these air beds is yeah, it's got the uh, inflate it automatically, but it also has the deflate it automatically. Bye-bye. Don't strain the pump. Uh, so I'm gonna fold this up, but actually what I'm gonna do first, just so I don't run into any problems tomorrow, not that it would really matter, but depending on how slow this charges, this is the battery, it just goes right beside the pump there. Uh, it comes with its own little wall charger, and we are just going to charge this bad boy up. Although I already had a vision of how the future would go. I take it into the house, I plug it in, I leave it in the house, and then I've got no way of inflating this mattress. So instead, I'm gonna come around here, <laughs> and we're gonna use the vitamin to charge this bad boy up. So let's power this up. Hello, hopefully it's not cold. I mean, it probably is, but AC, there we go. How many wattage does it take to charge this little battery here? Ticked on, hello, zero. Takes no watts to charge. I mean, maybe the battery's not, oh, plugged in. Oh no, it is. There we go. We got one watt. Yeah, that's a slow charge. But we'll let that charge up. We are going to have the vitamin with us as well uh, to charge whatever devices I bring with me. Probably my switch and my laptop. Uh, honestly, I'm not going to have that much to do. I'm going to get back to the city and I get the bed made up. It should be a pretty easy night. But that being said, all that driving, just enough time to sleep, and then get the pirate princess first thing in the morning. So. All right, I'm gonna get this mattress folded up and then I guess I better stock Grace with some pillows and blankies. All right, all packed away. We'll toss that up there for a second. We're gonna get this WeatherTech mat back in here. It's not perfectly clean, but it's also not covered in mud. So, hey, will this cover the, wait a second. This won't, no, not really. Does it cover the seat things? It does not. <laughs> the little uh, patch kit that came with the mattress. I'm gonna tuck it into this side. What else is in here right now? Oh, a whole bunch of Brooklyn's clothes. These can come out and I can use them while we're here. 
perfect. But anyways, I'm gonna put the patch in here. So if I forget in the future, hopefully somebody can remind me. That'd be great. All right, well, I might as well make sure that this is topped up before I leave tomorrow. Been using a little bit of it. Nothing, nothing crazy. Up to the tippy tap. There we go. Hey. And I'm coming up very close on uh, 16,000 kilometers. I'm a big believer of changing your oil at least every 8,000 kilometers. But when I got my oil changed last time, I reset the oil reminder in Grace's instrument cluster, and it's saying it's only it's still at 45% life. So let me see here. Well, it's not black, but Grace has been, you know, she's been doing some driving. And granted, it's been mostly highway, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just hoping I can push this uh, until my return trip when I take Brooklyn back to Calgary. And then maybe we get a get an oil change while we're there. We should be able to get away with it. We'll be over sixteen thousand for sure, but that's not uh, yeah, that's not the end of the world. Okay, we should be good to go. We going to get the washer fluid to live here in the passenger footwell. Hello. Ah yes, my mount. Come out, you. You go up there. Hopefully I don't forget you up there. These can live here for now. This is gonna be forward. It's very hard to do with one hand. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully those don't tip around too much. And then I'm gonna have the car seat. My backpack could then go in the car seat if need be. Not if need be, need be. And the vitamin can sit on the driver's seat. Um, I, th this is all for when I'm sleeping, right? When I'm in Grace, tucked away for the night. What is this? Oh yes, my bag of ducks. <laughs> we'll keep those under the seat. Uh, what else can we get rid of here? I got all my meds that I need put into one bottle and just have enough meds for the time that I will be there. So that's good to go. Brooklyn's got her fox hat here. Keep that up here. Baseball cap, charge cable for the vitamin, chapstick for my, my dry ass lips. Of course, Banjo-Kazooie. These guys could probably end up in Lucky once the build is done. Let's get serious. But for now, maybe they can ride in the glove box. Mm, barely any room in there. You guys can come back on the dashboard. Who am I kidding? Get up there, you bear and bird. So I'm just sort of thinking out loud of... of Making sure it's like by way of doing a checklist. I don't write a lot of stuff down. This is coming from the guy who just wrote out a diagram for the box I built yesterday and a long, lengthy grocery list. But I promise I don't normally write things down. Ah, yes. And in the interest of cutting back on what I got in Grace, instead of bringing this entire box of gloves, I very smartly just took out a handful and stuffed them in this pouch right here. So we got some, should we need them? I don't think we will. It's only because these jerry cans are obnoxious when you have to use them. I, obviously, I will not need any diesel. But if I decide I want to use the gasoline that's in the red rota packs, the nozzles are always coated with, you know, whatever, diesel or gasoline. I like getting it on my hands. We all saw what happened the last time. I had to stop just to buy a special hand wash. Our other bag of duckies are down here. And hey, the T-Rex ducky got down there. Maybe you come up here as well. You live right beside Banjo for now. That's a lot of stuff that could fall off. That is what it is. I'm gonna put the uh, summer windshield blocker in Lucky as well, just to cut down on what we have. I've definitely discovered that anything underneath the seats uh, interferes. Is that a goldfish cracker? Brooklyn. Yes, it is. <laughs> Anything that's under here definitely interferes because these actually come down really flat to the floor. So that will prevent the seats from being flush. That's why they looked like they were at such an angle before. Those bags of duckies were under there. All right. Well, do I do something unlucky? Or do I go to the post office? That's not a watch. <sighs> Yeah, all right. Let's slice something. How hard could it be? But not with this. You take a break. I'm coming for you. Hello, old friend. I do not recommend doing this at home. All right, hold your foot. Don't lose any digits. Let's go.
<laughs> it was the best of intentions. But I forgot that unlike that wheel well box, this one has this back brace on it because the hinge is at the back. Whereas on that one, the hinge is at the front. So this is actually way deeper than the wheel well. So it's getting hung up on this. I'd have to cut that out. And honestly, because up there is the distance I would want. So this is another not quite two inches, right? That would have to go. <sighs> it may be easier to just build another box. This thing is heavy as all get out, even with the cut that I just made. So, I mean, I guess at the very least, I got to get reacquainted with the circular saw that helped build Lucky. <clears throat> Moving right along. Okay, well, oh, see, I have the eye protection on, and as soon as I take it off, mm, anyway, I should probably move Lucky back into the garage for while I'm gone, and I'm not going to be doing any work on her while my little girl is here. I'm just going to take the time and, and think about it a little bit more, think about what we're doing in here, get it all sorted out. For those that might not know what I was just doing with that box, I was just trying to shrink it down to 12 inches because that is the height of this new box that I built and that old wheel well box, and then it would have just acted as a support over top of that wheel well. That's fine, we'll just make a new box. This one was easy enough, and lordy knows we got enough spare wood. Although, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to buy more of it. It's not that expensive though, so that's okay. I also just had the idea, it'll be cool as I go along when I'm back here after this um, trip with my little girl, I can get the solo stove like out here on the grass, get a nice fire going, if it's, especially if it's chilly, and we can just start getting rid of the pieces of wood that I don't need as opposed to having to worry about hauling it all off to the dump later, because believe you me, this stuff burns real good. Turn it to ash. But that sounds like a future Matthew problem. All right, Lucky, back it up. That should be good. So much room for activities. And Mike and Megan, you know who you are. You're Patreon supporters of mine, and I am an a-hole. So sorry my scattered brain has let this go on for so long, but let's take care of it before we forget once again. All right. Post office with two things to mail. Out of all the years I've been coming to New Denver, ever since I was a wee lad, I don't think I've ever been inside the post office. Cue my mom in the comments being like, actually, back in 1989. How's it going? Not too bad. Just those to go out, both to the states, please. <sighs> For such a foggy morning, it has turned into an absolutely gorgeous day. Yeah, all right, Megan and Mike, it's day into mail. Mike, I already tried mailing it once, and it didn't arrive, so. That or it's just really late, and you're gonna end up with double stickers. But hey, you two got Van Life Plus stickers all the way from beautiful New Denver, BC, not just Calgary, Alberta. Well, I'm here, I need to get gas for Grace, so I don't have to worry about that in the morning. And because I'll be leaving so early, I won't have time to say goodbye to the lake, so we should probably do that right now. Another little spot here. I never spent too much time in, more so than the post office. 
I, I do have a couple memories of coming down here with um, one of my friends who was a local and jumping off cliffs. I didn't jump off a cliff. What are you, nuts? It's somewhere a lot. There it is. I'm going to have a sit here on this bench right out there. If we look right over there. I'm going to zoom in here in a second. That's about as close as I can get to it without distorting it, but right there, that cliff. Yeah, he jumped right off into the lake. I think his name was Graham, if I'm remembering correctly. Did a lot of stuff with him. We even uh, took our bikes up Carpenter Creek at one point, all the way up to where the creek comes shooting out of the, uh, the mountain. Obviously, that's how I'm remembering it in my brain, but now it's probably just like through the mountain and it, cause it originates on the glacier way up there. I remember on the way back down, um, seeing a bear in, uh, like just off the trail that we were on and then just going like bats out of hell to beat the band to get back into town. I don't have this memory of it being that far. It kind of the path started near the Canco gas station and then just went straight up alongside the creek. Um, maybe we should try to do that sometime in the future. But uh, right now, just coming down this little bit of a, a hill has definitely put a damper on my back pain tolerance. <sighs> well, it is goodbye, Lake. But I'll tell you this, it ain't goodbye for long. It's going to be a whirlwind trip. There and back in less than two days. Oh, that's bad enough when you go from Calgary to Edmonton in one day. Thank goodness for the Irish Pirate Queen. Well, thank you very much for hanging out with me today, you guys. Just getting a little running around done and testing out some stuff. Uh, I have to load up some nice warm clothing and blankets and pillows still into grace. It shouldn't be that cold in Calgary when I am doing this overnight. Uh, but still, I am not disillusioned to the fact that Grace is nowhere near as insulated as Lucky, so gonna have to be uh, c covered from head to toe, as they say. I'm gonna leave this one here until the next one. Everybody just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves. Most importantly, be positive, and remember, only dead fish go with the flow. <laughs>